What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's just a nice day out so I thought I'd come out and record outside. But if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time visiting the channel or watching one of my videos, hello I'm Todd of TJ Coins. On this channel I talk all things coin collecting, silver stacking, coin or hunting, and much, much more. So if you like any of those things, make sure you consider subscribing. Guys, on this video we're going to be toning this beauty right here. This is a one ounce copper um, uh, wheat penny replica round. As you can see there, one ounce. Pretty cool. I have a couple of these, so uh, I thought I would tone one of these. I've seen some videos and I watched some people do it already, so I thought I'd give this a shot. We're going to be using hard-boiled hard eggs. Uh, to tone this, it has to do with something with the acid or something, um, I'm not really sure. And it all depends on the temperature, uh, the temperature of the room, uh, the temperature of the eggs. So we're going to uh, take a lot of those things into consideration. When we're so let's get into the kitchen and get this experiment started. Alright, so I just boiled these eggs. Um, they do recommend that you have the yolk a little bit darker than this. They want it, you know, a little bit darker yellow, but... I do have an extra one boiling right behind me, just in case this one doesn't work. Um, but we're going to put it in here, we're going to mash them up. You can use a Ziploc bag or a little container with a lid. Um, I will use the bag first, if that doesn't work uh, properly, then I'll use a container with the extra egg I'm making um, right now. So we're just going to mash this up a little bit. There, we're going to mix it up. and. The egg is still warm. If it does cool down, I will warm it up again. They say it should be warm when you're doing this, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, let's, uh, let's put the coin in here. And let, I'm just going to set it, you know, they, I'm just, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put it beside the egg instead of kind of make it go around the egg instead of putting the coin underneath. We'll do that. They say don't leave it in there too long. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Um, so uh, I'm going to leave it off right here and I'll bring you back with an update. So everybody, after all that time, here is the results of the round. Overall, it's pretty cool. Uh, the front, it's not really, it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. It just kind of got spotty, and I don't know. There's not much color to it to the front, but the back really turned out awesome. Let me show you here. Back has really turned out really nice. Watch this. Ooh, almost dropped it. But look at that. That is nice. Look at the look at the purples and the purple over here, and then the blue down the middle, and it's kind of got yellow all the way around it. Really cool. Kind of got spotted there. Probably a little piece of egg was laying there, but yeah, it got really cool. That's really cool. Uh, probably the reason why I got spotty in the front is because I put the egg on top. I think um, I put the, in the in the container. It worked better. And when I did the back here, I just set the uh, the round in the container and surrounded the egg, or the, surrounded the coin with the egg. So it was just the egg. Egg was around the round. So um, I think that worked the best. I might experiment with it a little more, and I might uh, do that with the front a little bit more. But overall, it uh, I think it worked out pretty well. So if you guys want to 
do this. I'd highly recommend it if you wanted to uh, tone some silver rounds or some copper rounds. I wouldn't really recommend it to do it to like constitutional silver unless you really wanted to. Uh, that's just my uh, advice. Uh, that's just my opinion. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video if it was helpful and if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.